Hey, uh, Houston, we've gathered everybody here at the, uh, the No Two Forward Hatch. Uh, we, have, uh, we have a couple different things we'd like to do today. Um, the first of which is a, uh, is a, is a, pr a special presentation. Um, you know, uh, when, uh, when great things are accomplished, uh, pivotal moments occur in history. We, uh, we have monuments and statues. and We would have loved to have brought a monument, but we really couldn't bring a monument. So uh, what we did to uh, celebrate this uh, final uh, shuttle flight docking to the International Space Station is we brought uh, the best monument we could possibly find, and that's a, a space shuttle model. Uh, this space shuttle model was uh, signed by the uh, modern day titans of the space shuttle program, um, including John Shannon, Leroy Kane, Mike Leinbach, um, our lead flight directors, Quatsi, uh, Ala Barujo, and Chris Edelin. Um, what you don't see is the signatures of the tens of thousands who rode to orbit with us over the past 30 years at Bully and Spirit. Uh, what we would like is uh, for Doug to present this model to uh, Mike Fossum uh, of the Expedition 28 crew, and Mike will uh, hopefully display it in a position of respect right here by the shuttle's regular old parking spot by the No-2 forward hatch. We all have lots of stories. My story with the shuttle program began in 1982 when I worked STS-3 in Mission Control. Hundreds of thousands of people have contributed to the shuttle program through the many years, 30 years of flying service and another decade and a half of development before that. The Space Shuttle program has inspired millions and millions more. We're happy to have this model, one of the greatest testaments to the, the shuttle's incredible capability that 90% of the world's population can look out of their backyards at night and see us going overhead. It looks absolutely uh, fantastic there, Mike. It's, uh, it's uh, the next best thing to really being here. We also have a, uh, another special uh, presentation today, um, and that presentation is a, a special flag. Uh, that flag was handed to me uh, personally just a few days before launch, uh, and the crew of STS-135, the final shuttle mission, brought it uh, to, inter to the International Space Station. And uh, since we've been here, we've prominently displayed the flag on the forward flight deck. We actually had it there a little bit earlier on for a, a public affairs event, but uh, Doug and I, Rex and Sandy, uh, we just really liked it. It symbolized what we were all here for, and we left it there permanently. And I think it made us feel good. Well, we have that flag, and that flag is significant not only because we brought it up on this flight, but because it also flew on STS-1. We can reach behind you, Sasha. This flag represents not just a symbol of our national pride and honor, but in this particular case, it represents a goal. This flag also will be flown prominently here by the forward hatch of No. 2 to be returned to Earth once again by an astronaut that launches on a U.S. vehicle, hopefully in just a few years. Ron, I'd like to turn this flag over to you for you to display on the No. 2 forward hatch. Thanks, Bert. You know, we, we, we're we looking for a place to hang this flag that flew on STS-1 and STS-135. And, uh, you know, when we were thinking about it, we, we thought the Harmony module would be the perfect place. You know, on our on our right, we've got the Japanese laboratory. On our left, we have the European laboratory. Uh, in front of us, we've got the hatch that leads to the U.S. laboratory, the Russian segment, and the rest of the space station. And above us and below us are hatches where visiting spacecraft can bring cargo. But behind us, uh, going through ha that hatch right there, right now, that's the hatch that leads to Atlantis. And 35 space shuttles have docked to, to that uh, mating adapter that's uh, attached just beyond that, uh, that hatch right there. And, you know, during the course of the, of, the, uh, of the International Space Station construction, all those space shuttles that, that docked there left the legacy of this incredible orbiting research facility that not only uh, is, you know, going to be a stepping stone 
to the rest of the uh, exploration of the rest of the solar system. It's also really improving life on our planet. And so we thought it was a very fitting place uh, to put that. And as we uh, put this flag on the hatch, that leads to Atlantis right now. And when we close that hatch, when these guys go by, we're closing a chapter in the history of our nation. But uh, in the future, when another spacecraft docks to that, uh, that hatch and with, uh, with crew members on board, and we open that hatch, we are going to be opening a new era and raising the flag on a new era of uh, exploration beyond low Earth orbit. So it's a great honor to do that, and it's a great place for us to put it. Thanks, Ron. And uh, when this uh, flag returns again someday to Earth by astronauts that came up on a, an American spacecraft, its journey will not end there. Uh, its journey will continue. It will also, uh, on the heavy lift vehicle that the United States is currently working on, it will leave low Earth orbit once again, perhaps to a lunar destination, perhaps to Mars. I think I certainly speak on behalf of the STS-135 crew and on behalf of Expedition 28 that it is our honor to have brought this flag here and to prominently display it. Thank you. Atlantis and ISS, thanks for those inspiring words. Thank you for honoring the thousands of people that have been a part of the space shuttle program over the years. And we look forward, as you do, to the day when that flag will return to Earth um, with a U.S. crew and then move on beyond our, our uh, low Earth orbit. Thanks very much. Hey, great words, Megan. And uh, now uh, back to uh, what we continue to be a more traditional farewell ceremony. I'd like to uh, thank the commander of the International uh, Space Station, Andre Borisenko, for your hospitality. You've been absolutely fantastic to us. Uh, you and your crew have, uh, have demonstrated not only uh, ISS hospitality, but you've demonstrated fantastic Russian hospitality. It's been wonderful to be here with you. You have a wonderful home. You're taking fantastic care of it, and uh, you are, you're going to keep it uh, looking good for generations of space travelers to come. We have uh, good uh, together work, and uh, I would uh, say you uh, have a good landing. Thank for our work. Uh, Anything else we're going to do? Just, wanna, just to say, I want to say a few words. Oh, yeah. Say. Right. Hey, just a few words uh, overall on the, uh, the mission itself. Uh, you know, this was a, a little bit of a unique mission uh, for a couple of different reasons. Uh, first of all, we had uh, kind of an abbreviated crew. We had uh, four shuttle crew coming up, joining six space station crew. Uh, I think in this particular instance, it uh, forced us all to work as a, as a, a very tight uh, team from the very beginning. Uh, we had a lot of help from our station counterparts, uh, uh, Sasha and uh, Andre, Sergey. Uh, the very first day that we were uh, docked, they showed up in the MPLM put me to work. Uh, they were absolutely wonderful. They were uh, great sports and uh, took care of uh, actually stowing an awful lot of our cargo for us. Um, we, uh, we emptied the MPLM uh, finally today and uh, just a short while ago uh, put it back in the shuttle's payload bay, uh, hopefully with everything that should be on there and if not what's remaining is going to go through this hatch in just a moment. But uh, to the Expedition uh, 28 crew, again thank you very much for your hospitality on, on behalf of the 135 crew. Well, thanks, Bergie. It's been a, an honor uh, having you guys on board. It's been great having you guys on board. Uh, it's great being a part of this really important and uh, historic mission. And uh, uh, we want to just thank you guys so much for leaving the space station uh, in, in a posture for, for continued utilization, continued use for the rest of the decade. It's been, re it's been really great. And, uh, you know, I'd like to thank Doug for all your work uh, on the transfer and the robotics. It was just amazing. And uh, where's Rex? Rex, thank you for, for all your, your leadership and your dedication and hard work on the uh, spacewalk. Uh, you and the EVA team on the ground really made that, that a big success. And Fergie, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for bringing the guys here. But of, of all your many, many accomplishments that you did on this mission, for us, from our perspective, the most important thing you did was bring Sandy here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Sa Sandy, we cannot thank you enough for always keeping the big picture in mind, always keeping what life is going to be like after you guys leave. Uh, you were just absolutely amazing. We just cannot thank you enough for, for everything that you've done for us. And, you know, we don't even realize it yet, but in a couple of weeks, we're going to be going, wow, I'm glad Sandy was here. 
And we tried to tra trade Mike for Sandy, but Fergie wouldn't take us up on the deal. <laughs> <laughs> but Fergie, thank you and your crew so much. Um, like I said, uh, it, it's you really left it in a good position. So on behalf of the Expedition 20 crew, the entire ISS program, we'd like to thank you, your crew, and the entire STS-135 team for leaving the station ready to go for the rest of the decade. So thank you very much. All right. It's our honor. All right. Congratulations. Mike? Um, hug right, time! Hug time! Thank you. Oh, that was very nice. Oh, no, it was. Very good. Very good. Sasha! Okay. Commander. 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 Good luck. All right. Good luck to you. See you, Michael. See you, man. All right, right. Sergey, you're going to send me the address, right? I know, it's so <laughs> bad. It's good to see you. Good to have a safe landing. Yes, I will have a safe landing. Sasha. Thank you. Oh. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. You take care, okay? Thank you. 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 I think we will meet in California. Oh, yes. Thank you. 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 Thank uh, crew members, great. Awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 In a way, we never would have guessed. Wrong. Yeah. 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 All right, we got everything on the right side. We got our cameras. We got the log. We're gonna fill the log out. We're gonna get it back to you. Okay. And we got a got a card. Uh, yeah. and, a card and we gotta get our camera. We'll do that. We'll get everything. Out. And you're gonna get his thumb drive, and we're gonna just pass it to you when change your thumb drive for a ship's log. Absolutely. Okay. Rexy? Yep. Okay. Good luck. Make sure she's right. Oh, bomber. Arrivederci. <laughs> Sayonara. Grab her feet. Make her stay. Be good. <laughs> Ron will see you in the room in seven weeks, man. See you at Thanksgiving. Good job. See you at Thanksgiving, buddy. Don't forget us up here. Enjoy all the fun. Now, you're going to get an email very shortly from us. <laughs> <laughs>